My name is Praveen Hassan Chandrasekhar. I'm currently the Director for Sustainability and Resilience Office at Subana Jurong. SLA buildings are considered to be the best in class when it comes to energy efficiency and also it consists of other design strategies such as passive design, active design, the best in class, the smart building initiatives and also importantly the integration of renewable energy. SLA buildings are rated as the top 5 percentile of the buildings in Singapore in terms of the energy efficiency. In order to comply with this SLE status, the building of say this scale, uh, of any scale more than 15,000 meters square of GFA, should comply to an EUI of less than 115 kilowatt hour per meter square per annum. This building has achieved less than 100. Our campus has a host of sustainability strategies. We have uh, incorporated various passive, active and smart initiatives Passive design is the building block or the fundamental upon which we actually integrated our active design strategies. We have optimized our facade design, basically the building massing, the facade design such that there is a less heat gain into the building and we have actually optimized our window to wall ratio, the kind of the glass material so that we get enough daylight without bringing in additional glare. In terms of active design, this building may be one of the largest building in Singapore to adopt underfloor air distribution system which is quite innovative and quite unique compared to a traditional overhead mixing system. This system brings in additional 15 to 20 percent more energy saving compared to traditional system and it is since it's a displacement cooling it the indoor air quality is better and also it has a better thermal comfort. In terms of other active strategies are smart lighting controls, uh, we have smart FM strategies and we have uh, harnessing close to 389 megawatt of renewable energy in this project. When we started uh, the design for the campus, so we know this particular part of Singapore is quite green, quite lush. We didn't want it to bring a building mass and it intimidated the whole nature around. So the idea was to have a seamless integration to the existing Jurong Eco Garden. So that's why the reason that the garden that I'm standing here is a natural extension of the Jurang Eco Garden we have. We have actually achieved a 100% green replacement for this project and it's also uh, quite good in terms of mitigating the urban heat island impacts and also helps in the productivity uh, for our employees. If you see uh, currently with the current kind of busy schedule that everyone has, having a natural element will soothe uh, your thinking process and also helps to increase your focus and in turn increase your productivity as well. So in this particular garden space where we are standing in now, so we call this as a tropical garden space. Uh, so when we started the design for this campus, we envisage certain uh, kind of uh, biophilic elements so that it becomes a kind of a natural expression and people can use this space as place of respite where they can come and they can rejuvenate themselves. So this definitely plays a very positive role the way we actually work and synergize with other employees within the campus.